What is up my fellow net dwellers? Couch Command here, and today I'm teaching you how to fix a mod issue whenever using Game Pass mods. I didn't know about this whenever I created my initial how-to mod. This was something that ended up popping through halfway of me doing my five amazing mods video. And I actually ended up delaying my video because I ended up tinkering around with this for about an hour before I finally got it figured out and working again. So anyways, feel free to hit that like button if this helps you out. Comment down below on some of the more annoying mod issues you've run into and subscribe to the channel for more weekly modding content. Now let's jump into it. I had an issue whenever I was playing Conan Exiles. Specifically, my issue was eventually it just deleted all of my mods and removed my permissions as far as being able to actually add files myself. Now what I'm gonna do is show you how to fix that real quick. So what you're going to do is actually open your mods folder we're going to be going out to your Windows No Editor, Sandbox. And whenever this happens, this mod folder is gonna be gone. So to simulate that, I'm gonna go ahead and just move this to my desktop. Now you'll notice I have no more mods here. When you see this happening, the best way to catch it is whenever you're actually launching the game, you'll notice that there is no mods available as far as whenever you're going to click on mods. So whenever you launch it, go in Exiles, Permissions. Oh, there they go. So if you look inside your mods folder, you'll notice none are loaded whenever you do this. If you check your mods folder before you load your game, I highly advise you do this before you load up your game anytime you're using mods. And you notice that's empty, just exit. So once you've seen that your mods folder is gone, you're gonna come in here, here, you'll not see your mods. We're gonna go ahead and go right click and do new folder. You have to be an admin to do this. There's no other way. You're gonna create a new mods folder. After you've created a new mods folder, you're going to click and drag all this stuff into it. And you're gonna to have to give it admin permission to move it all in there. Now the thing to note is even though you've done this and now you have your mods available again, whenever you come into Conan, because it's now switched to needing admin access to modify this folder, Conan no longer has the rights to even do its own mod list. What do I mean by that? What I mean is, if you come into mods here, you should now have mods available. But if I move, let's do the Barbarian Arsenal over, it says refresh required. Let's go ahead and back out and restart the game, right? So we're backed out, we've restarted the game and we come in here. And even though we've come back into the game, we made those changes where we said we wanted to use those mods. When we come into mods, none of those mods are selected. The reason for this is now you need admin permissions to modify that folder. This is not an admin. As a result, this can't create its own plugin list to know what you want to install. So now, now we've got a trick here. We've got to actually create the list of the mods we're going to be using ourselves, which is really easy to do. Basically, the list of your mods is going to be modlist.txt, like this guy here. And all it is is a list in order of how you want them to load of what packs you're going to load. It's character for character, just matching the file names. If you want, you can just right click and rename your mod and go ahead and just copy the name and paste it in, just like that. Now, once you've created your mod list, you're gonna have to create this elsewhere. You can't create it in that folder because you're not gonna be able to save it inside that folder. So create your mod list on your desktop or wherever. But once you've created your mod list with a list of all the mods you wanna load, you just click and drag it in, go ahead and give admin rights to move it in. Now, if we start up the game, Now, if we start up the game, you'll notice selected mods, all of them are available. Now our game is gonna load fine, all of our mods are gonna work. So yeah, that is how you fix it whenever Conan decides your mods are no longer good enough for it. I hope this helps you guys out. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any suggestions on other games or mods that you want me to take a look at, 
feel free to message me on Twitter at CouchCommand, that's CouchCMD, or feel free to hit me up in my Discord, links at the top of my channel page, or you can go check it out in my description. Make sure to hit that like button if this video helped you out, comment down below on your most annoying mod issue, and subscribe to the channel for more weekly mod content. This was CouchCommand, you'll have a good night, a great tomorrow, and an amazing rest of the week. I'll see you next time.